today's not Tuesday, is it? Really? Hmm. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday we did the uh, the magnets on the trailer. Ended up finishing up everything pretty late last night. <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? Let me just jump on the board. See if I can see anything. Jumped on my phone. I didn't really see anything. And the... Uh, desktop version and the app version never show the same loads sometimes you'll find one load on one that's not on the other you know vice versa anyways it was it was about 7 38 o'clock last night and i seen a load from valdosta going to pennsylvania i'm like what let me click on this uh 20 feet 4500 pounds picks up in valdosta goes to mechanics I think it's I think it's Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Paying eight hundred and fifty bucks. I'm like, well, that's a dollar a mile. I'm like, shit, but I hate to do twenty feet of my deck. And then down in the notes it says uh, you can stop and pick up a another lawnmower along the way, and he'll add additional money. So I tried calling him, he wouldn't answer. Ended up. Uh, his voicemail said something about it. if you text him, he gets back to you because of spam calls or something. <clears throat> so I text him. I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm asking about your load from Valdosta up to Pennsylvania, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, can you do it? I was like, well, you mentioned um, you mentioned about picking something else up. And uh, I was like, what's that pay? He's like, well, it should be in the notes. He's like, no, it's not in the notes. Anyways, he's like, it, it pays an additional 350 bucks. So I figured out the mileage ends up being a dollar forty so 20 feet of deck for a dollar forty um i'm not sure exactly how much it'll probably be what like five thousand pounds maybe that lawnmower will be another 500 pounds so that's what we got uh, i'm gonna obviously look for something else going up along the way today's only tuesday i was thinking it was like wednesday or thursday for some reason but uh yeah that's what we got so let me uh I gotta finish loading up this truck. I was up super late last night doing, just finishing up little odds and end things. And uh, we're going to Pennsylvania. Warning, the YouTuber you are about to watch does not care about your one view. So don't think he will kiss your ass to keep you watching. If you talk shit, he will talk shit back. If you become rude, you will be blocked. Enjoy. <laughs> You guys want to hear a crazy story? So over the weekend, I took Lita to a new restaurant that we've been trying, that we've been wanting to try out, called uh, Jack's Chop House here in Valdosta. And as we drove by this tractor place over the weekend, Jack's Chop House is just right there. As we drove by this place over the weekend, I was like, dang, I wish that uh, tractor guy that I haul for would buy some tractors here, so I can haul right out of Valdosta. Uh, and here we are. We're picking up. But it isn't for that guy. It's for somebody else. But uh, that's that's crazy, huh? Man, I, I can get really lucky sometimes. Yeah, I think it's not even a problem. Don't worry, you can get one for it. I'll get one. 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 I'll get one.
Oh, all right. There's the first half of the load. Now the uh, next next thing is a lawnmower that we have to pick up in Brunswick. So uh, what I might do is take my aluminum stra uh, aluminum uh, ramps off and stick them sideways. And then, oh my god, this this camera mount is freaking out. Tighten it down <clears throat> and load the lawnmower up this way, and then we'll pull the tractor up to meet it, and then uh, we'll measure what we have left. And we'll have it weighed and we'll see what else we can find on the way to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. A little southern twang there. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we have arrived in uh, Brunswick, Georgia uh, to pick up that lawnmower. <clears throat> Trailer's doing fantastic. Um, I'm not getting the trailer disconnected message anymore. Um, I'm feeling really good about this, this trip out. There's the lawnmower we got to load um, for some reason one of my locks it's got salt and grime in it i can't get this lock off so what i'm going to try to do i got the other lock off i used to carry a, a can of wd-40 on the truck but it's in the other trailer <clears throat> so i'm going to unchain this pull this off and then i'll pull the lawnmower on and then i'll load this tractor back up
All right, so there's the load. If we move the tractor all the way up, I moved it all the way up and then I measured it before I chained it down. We have uh, 10 feet left on the back. So we just have to uh, go get this thing weighed now and then uh, we know, we'll know what we can put on here afterwards. All right, guys, we are in uh, St. George, South Carolina. I actually stopped with um, uh, probably five hours left on the clock. There's a little bit less there now because uh, a sub, I think his, I think he said his name's Ian. I'm sorry, dude, I'm, I'm terrible with names. I, I don't remember, I, I'm pretty sure it's, I tell you what, he signed the trailer. Probably can't read it though, right there. Um, but we're at a fly and J. Um, I picked up another load. I actually called on one that um, the broker was like, um, he said, do you have an air ride trailer? I was like, well, it's not listed as an air ride on the board. I said, does it need to be an air ride? He's like, well, I don't know. Let me double check. I was like, all right, because I'm like 20 minutes away, I'm going to pull over and just call me back and let me know. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So I pull into a rest area and... Um, sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting for him to call me back and I'm still swiping through the board and then probably 45 minutes later the load disappears uh, and he never called me so kind of a shitty move mood but uh, we're about 30 minutes from picking up a partial that I picked up it's it's one of those remote control um, compactors uh, it's supposed to be 3,500 pounds I'm sure it'll fit right here on the deck uh, if not we could probably um, move the tractor up and then use the back but i think it'll fit right here anyways this is where we are for the night i'm going to uh, run and grab a shower because i have access to one so i might as well take one and um i'm cooking some lasagna in the uh the chris anderson cooker uh, it's probably done but i'm gonna leave it in here until i get out of the shower let me see what it looks like Yeah, right there. So, uh, that should be ready by the time we get out of the shower. Alright, so we just got a shower. The craziest thing happened. So, when I'm in the shower, you can hear a little touch pad. Like somebody's uh, trying to get in. Man, these lights just 
turn on right. And uh, I heard it fail a few times. Figure it was just a cleaning lady trying to come, or a cleaning guy trying to come clean the bathroom. So I finish up my shower and I get out and I just dried off. I put my boxers on and I hear the beeping again. And I've got that little that little bar thing to lock the door, right? So I, I didn't think anything of it. Next thing I know, the door opens up, boom, and that piece breaks off the door. <clears throat> and I'm standing there. I just got, I had just got my boxers on, and there's some black dude standing there with his with his gym bag getting ready to take a shower. I'm like, what'd they do? Give you my sh my my shower room? He's like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah. So that was fun. I'm gonna eat this lasagna and go to bed.
All right, that took forever. Um, but as you guys can see by the uh, wait ticket, hopefully re Lita remembers to include that in there. Uh, we were already over on our drives. I was thinking we could just set that on there and be good, but I seen that the, the back of the truck squat a little bit when they stuck this on here. So I decided to go ahead and move the tractor back all the way as far as we could. So, uh, you know, everybody says uh, I'm always breathing hard. I have asthma, so that's probably why I'm breathing hard. <laughs> Anyways, we are uh, we're locked down now. I'll throw a bungee on here so this tire can't spin. Um, you guys are probably going to make fun of me on this compactor too because I threw these chains on here. This is the first time I've used this chain binder to actually secure a load. So I'm kind of iffy about it anyways. And I'm not crazy about just the, the chains going to this one point for some reason. So I just threw the straps over top of the uh, over top of the wheels here. 3,500 pounds it's supposed to be. I was going to look up that uh, that part number to see what it actually is to make sure they're not lying to me. And uh, it's paying a dollar a mile. Only 400 miles for 400 bucks, actually 405, so he gave me 405, because I told him, I said, I don't haul anything for under a dollar. He was uh, trying to get, get it moved for 350, so he gave me 405. So, uh, there we go. Got everything uh, chained down. Let's hit the road. All right, here's the truck. I've got the phone unplugged. It's not even using Android Auto. Watch, I'll turn the phone off. Power and off. Power off, power off. All right, phone is shutting off. Stuck on a phone call, will not end. It's not Android Auto, it's the truck. So we just arrived to drop this uh, compactor thingy. Um, now I'm filming on a brand new on a brand new DJI. Man, this thing does not want to stay. And uh, the uh, issue I was having with the other one, I was having to take the battery out and stick it back in. It's already happening on this. This thing ain't even a week old. I don't know what's going on with these things. I don't know if it's, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. It's, it's got me a little concerned. Um, I was gonna go with the GoPro but I've sent my other DJ off to have them fix it. So I was like, well, I just want to kind of keep everything simple. I'll just run two DJIs. I thought it was a fluke. Obviously not. There's, there's obviously an issue with them. So, but uh, they weren't even expecting this. Today. So, I said I made good time. It's like, yeah, I, I can't wait around. <clears throat> Sit around in truck stops. Watch. So they've got a UPS truck right now being unloaded. And uh, as soon as he's out of the way, we can pull back there and get this thing off. Um, I've been on the boards. I don't see, I was trying to look for loads leaving here, going up that way. I didn't see anything. Now I'm looking for loads in Chambersburg. I think I was saying we were dropping into Mechanicsburg. But it's Chambersburg, which I don't think is too far from Mechanicsburg. I don't remember. I know it's I know it's close to York. So I already texted my uh, my York broker. I haven't heard from him in a long time. So who knows, man? Some of these brokers go out of business so fast. You know, they jump into this thinking there's money in it, and then um, maybe maybe there's not as much money in brokering. At least. At least not the people working for the brokerage. I mean, obviously the brokerage is making the money and they have like, you know, they're, they're almost like salesmen. They get a percentage of, of the profit. And when the company takes, takes profit away already and then tries to give a load away super cheap, they probably only make money on the profit that's left over. I think, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not sure how all that works. That uh, that drive shaft fell out of that tractor. Look at that. That's just laying there. 
Look at that. Huh. I mean, I could have lost that down the highway. What are these clowns doing? I gotta go around and check everything on these things? What in the world? Let's see if we can get it to click back in place. Um. What the hell's going on? Get this thing to show me where it's pointing at. This should click into place here. And these are usually a pain in the butt to get off. I don't understand, uh... Understand how it came off. We might just have to strap this thing down on the trailer. That's what we're gonna do because I can't get that thing to go in there. It's usually a uh, usually a thing you push to release that ball. I mean, it's already fallen off once. Do I trust it again? If I can get it on? Huh. I'm gonna strap it to the trailer, dude. Maybe we can throw it in the back of the truck. I don't know how... I don't know how DOT feels about stuff in the back of the truck, you know? I got a lot of junk back there. And they always look back there and they never say anything. I mean, I got my plastic toe to close, got my oil changing thing. I mean, I do I have all my corner protectors and my bungees and stuff over there. Keep my hard hat. Those are the straps I just took off. Um, I don't know. Let's throw it back there. Alright, let's wait on that UPS truck. I'm going to take my 30 minute break too. And uh, start looking for a load. having to move this stuff around so everything's good I'm not overweight. Feels like it's okay, then we'll keep it. Go we'll keep it there. I don't know if they're at lunch or what. You know, everybody keeps asking me 
If it's so bad, why am I still in it? I feel like, um... I feel like I'm digging for a treasure, right? <clears throat> and I'm almost there. You know, I'm, I'm almost to the treasure. If I just keep digging and just stick with it, then I'll hit the treasure, you know? I feel like if I turned around and walked away, you know, I was, I was, I was that close. Of course, that's the way a crazy man thinks too when he's at the, you know, gambling problems. If I just buy one more lottery ticket, one more lottery ticket, I'll win. There's a fine line of being, uh, committed and insane. I'm not sure which one I am, honestly. Man, are they gonna get me unloaded? Hey, there it goes. Uh, so I reset, I factory reset the Ford Sync 3 and made it do its all its own updates again. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna fix anything. Um, I was actually gonna go buy an iPhone thinking maybe it was an Android Auto problem, but obviously it's not. If the phone's not even connected and it's it's still not wanting to uh, hang up, then it's it's not a it's not an Android Auto 